Parents, we worry about our kids getting sick. Now there is a mysterious liver disease that is sending kids with no underlying health conditions to the hospital. But what causes it causes it is something that doctors at Vanderbilt Children's Hospital are trying to figure out. One doctor tells News Channel 5's Emily Luxon, while it may sound scary, we should not panic. A new health threat is impacting children across the world and here in Tennessee. It's something that we see every year, um, but in this case, we are just seeing a, a larger than usual number of cases of hepatitis. 169 cases of acute hepatitis, which causes inflammation of the liver, have been reported worldwide. As a result, the CDC issued a public health alert asking doctors to be on the lookout for unusual cases of liver disease in children. Dr. Saeed Mohammed treated four of the patients who came to Monroe Carroll Jr. Children's Hospital at Vanderbilt. Thankfully, none of the children here at Vanderbilt have had liver failure. They've all recovered. Nobody has needed a transplant either, so they've all been discharged and have gone home. Dr. Mohammed says some of the patients tested positive for adenovirus, which can cause respiratory and gastrointestinal symptoms, but doesn't always cause hepatitis. Doctors here at Vanderbilt Children's Hospital are working with the CDC and other doctors across the country to figure out what causes the disease and if the number of cases will grow. Right now, it looks like this was a, a limited cluster, but the more we know about it, the more we'll be able to say whether this could happen again. Symptoms of acute hepatitis include vomiting, diarrhea, fatigue, and yellowing of the eyes. Dr. Mohammed recommends parents call their pediatrician if their child is sick and follow common sense hygiene measures used throughout the pandemic. So things like washing your hands, um, covering your mouth and nose when you sneeze, those are very important to do to, so that the germs don't spread. Dr. Mohammed says parents need to be informed but should not be alarmed. I think for, for children who are, who are healthy, who are not what we call immune suppressed, I, I, wouldn't, I wouldn't be excessively worried. Emily Luxon, News Channel 5.